idea of putting together a video log series of uh, of a catamaran build has been uh, coined by several of our friends and, and family. Um, I think it's very important to document such a major uh, project in my life. And uh, and at the end of the day, you know, who knows? You might learn something. You definitely won't learn anything from me, but you might pick up some hints and tips uh, as we go along. But uh, it's quite an interesting story. It's a major project. It's something uh, I'm not really sure I should have taken on. However, I'm into it and uh, things are getting very real. Um, it all started uh, quite some time ago where my wife Janet and I were paddling uh, down our local river system and, uh, and eyeing off these amazing catamarans. I mean, they're, they're clearly just the most beautiful, beautiful craft. And uh, we were suggesting that we might want to buy a caravan, a four-wheel drive and tour around Australia. And we've been doing that for some time. However, uh, Janet sort of gave me the green light to uh, look into the possibility of a, of a cruising catamaran. This uh, is like a, a leaving the gate open for a dog that just wants to get out. I, I went home immediately, uh, months and months of research, uh, late night research, you know, 24 hours a day, just basically trying to work out what we should be doing, what we should be buying. And, uh, and ultimately a friend of ours and uh, a local fellow with a, with a beautiful cat down in our river um, suggested I might want to try and build one. So how this story uh, all came to pass, once that got into my head, it was all over. I, uh, I then began uh, researching the idea of building a kit, building one from a plan, um, and all those options seemed open to us. Uh, you know, that sort of research tends to lead to other things. We then went to the Sydney Boat Show uh, and investigated uh, some of these beautiful craft. I mean, and we soon realised that it's quite an expensive outlay. I mean, to purchase a new catamaran is, is just way beyond our capabilities. So, uh, feeling all very dejected, we drove the three hours home to Jervis Bay here in the south coast of New South Wales. And basically, after about half a dozen beers, I sat there with my bottom lip out, like, very upset that the dream was shattered. And, uh, and ultimately, uh, at about 1.30 in the morning, clicked on eBay and found a mould for a catamaran and, uh, and didn't so much just click buy, but uh, certainly gave it some serious thought. But uh, that, that, uh, I then ran upstairs, dragged my poor wife out of bed, dragged her down to my computer and, uh, and she just shook her head at me and she knew that, uh, that it was all over, it was gonna happen. Um, we purchased that mould uh, on eBay of a gentleman, but it happened to be in uh, in mid North Queensland, around about uh, 18 hours drive from where we are. Uh, we then set about working out how the hell we were going to get that bastard down to Jervis Bay, and this is a 23 foot wide, 40 foot long, 30 ton piece of uh, composite tooling, and uh, some very sleepless nights then ensued. Ultimately, we uh, we came up with a plan. And uh, you'll see on the video, uh, I dragged my poor brother-in-law, Jimmy, to Queensland, 15 hours drive straight, uh, with the idea of a, or the subtle hint of a, or temptation of a holiday in mind for him, you know, a bit of boys bonding, to, uh, to have a bit of a good time together. When we got there, it spent, we spent five days uh, framing, and then 12 hours of solid grinding and welding to cut it in half and uh, by doing that we were able to keep it within the, the parameters of the wide load uh, uh, that sort of uh, the regulations in New South Wales and Queensland I, th I think you're only allowed to have them up to 3.3 meters wide now we had a boat that was 6.7 meters wide so we were a touch over on one of those um, we also investigated the idea of a trucking company and uh, we basically were told where to go with the first couple that we spoke to. However, we were put onto a gentleman called uh, Terry Burns, who was without a doubt the most amazing fellow. He met us on the site, and he had in fact moved our mould before. Um, when uh, the, uh, the yachting manufacturer that owned it uh, decided to discard it, or put it into storage, he had to move the stinker, and uh, moved it onto our property in front of this beautiful uh, waterfront view and uh, this stinking 20 foot high behemoth sat right in front of her window with a waterfront view so she was more than happy to get rid of it and uh, couldn't help us more and Cheryl we uh, uh, thanks go out to you because you gave us the opportunity 
to uh, use your power and drink of water while we were there for the five days. And, uh, and yeah, we were able to, to sort of get it ready. Now, when Terry came out to the side, he said, you look like a can-do man, Rossi. And uh, if you can be a can-do man, I'll be a can-do man too. And true to his word, this guy got this thing down to us in about three weeks. Three weeks later, that thing was sitting in Jervis Bay. Now, the funny thing is that uh, I heard Terry on the phone to his partner uh, on the day, and uh, he said, I think we're going to retire on this one, honey. And, uh, and I think that means that it was going to cost the earth. Well, true to his word, he actually came through as quoted with a little bit extra because I did cut it uh, a little bit wide. And uh, we did get it down to Jervis Bay. And it was a very, very interesting uh, day, the day the thing came through now. There's uh, absolutely two semis came down uh, the Princess Highway all the way from Queensland. It was a three-day road trip. Came, uh, we closed the Nowra Princess Highway bridge. Uh, the police were really good and closed off the southbound uh, uh, bridge and brought it across the northbound bridge to, uh, to get it over the Shoalhaven River and then down into Jervis Bay. So it's, it's quite a story. It's uh, now sitting in our, um, in our factory unit in the car park. In fact, it is the car park. And uh, there's been uh, much talk about this, uh, this ugly arc of a thing that's sitting in our factory. We've, uh, you know, we're moving forward uh, quite a bit, bit of time on now. We're about seven months into it so far. And uh, yeah, there's a lot more to come. So I hope you enjoy the story. This is, uh, this is the beginning of a, quite a very long story. So enjoy it. So if you're into boat building, if you're into sailing, if you're into fiberglassing, DIY, anything that takes your fancy, join me next time on Life on the Mole. Right up here, or click on the bell up here to get my notifications, and you'll catch up with all the goings on here on the moles. Thanks for joining me. See you later.